So in managing those risks, there's a number of steps here that I've laid out. So start planning early. Make sure that you're actually engaging your family and key stakeholders in your thinking. So in managing the risks, I've laid out some steps here for you to start looking at. Start planning early. Engage family and key stakeholders in your thinking. Tap into and access outside help. Develop a written succession plan. Make sure you implement the strategic plan. Establish training processes and education so that you're preparing the next generation. And then reevaluate, review, measure and adjust the plan. Too often the plan's put to one side and forgotten about and then people wonder why it doesn't work. Don't forget yourself. Make sure you're actually planning for your future. What does it look like? What do you want to do? And what, what's the key role that you can still play that's important to the success? Utilise contingency and scenario planning. I can't emphasise that enough. These steps provide an action plan for the future ahead. However, this is where you need a vision of what the future looks like. We've established that the greatest risk is transitioning the family. If the vision is in your head and not shared, written down or communicated, you risk being part of that 70%.